Martins. Iona in the white, moving from left to right. Benson Egamonier will jump center for Niagara. And and keep an eye on Scott Machado, number five. He's been a, probably as a shoe in to be the rookie of the year in the MAC. He's been able to score a lot of different ways. He's a very good player. Egamonier easily wins the tap over Devon Clark. Niagara has the first possession, and without Anthony Nelson, Rob Garrison will run the point tonight to start for the Purple Eagles. Now a little bit of a break for the Purple Eagles. Iona starts out in zone, and they're in aggressive zone, but they're going to try and make the Purple Eagles beat them from the outside. It's a break because hopefully Niagara won't turn it over as much as they just did on that possession. Prodanovic, an excellent shooter, knocks down a quick three. He is second in the conference from beyond the arc at 44%, and it's 3-0 Iona. And that's a guy you cannot lose. He made 51 baskets on the season, 40 of them were three-pointers, Steve. The Purple Eagles will try and settle things down here. Garrison calling out the set with Machado all over him. Very aggressive defense for Iona early on. Williamson for three, knocks it down. Demetrius gets the start, and he has been struggling. He's down to 28% from beyond the arc. That could be a huge confidence builder. And the way to get Iona out of the zone, make some jump shots like that. That'll force him to go man to man. Dumping it inside to Clark. Clark trying to go quickly across the paint through the hands of Springer, who has played very well against Niagara in the last three matchups. You see a little bit of the chess match here already, Steve. Iona trying to post up Demetrius Williamson, try and get him in some foul trouble with Devon Clark, and Niagara right away, right away trying to double team that with Benson Egamonye. The block by Egamonye, but another three for Prodanovic. He is hit back to back, and it's 6 3 Iona again. Offensive rebounds for the Gales. Yes, and the best time to shoot a three is off the offensive rebound. All the purple shirts are in the paint. Great time to kick it out like the Gales just did. Lewis being hounded by Machado. They have really extended that zone. Bilal Ben had a nice game first time around against the Gales. A little deeper for Williamson this time, and it's off the mark, rebounded by Clark. Machado running the point. He has won the Rookie of the Week four times. Pass for him is tipped and stolen by Bilal Ben, among the leaders in the country in steals. The transfer from Villanova, his 57th takeaway of the season. Now Lewis trying to get through a double team is bumped. First foul of the game will go against Iona's Scott Machado. And Niagara averages 10 steals per game. That is the best in the conference, fourth in the nation in the top two. Lewis 2.7 a game, Ben at two and a half per game. And Tyrone Lewis's hands are always active and they're gonna try and make sure that Gary Springer has a, a trouble with the basketball when he has it. Little high, low, beautiful touch pass, Ben to Egamonye for an easy two. Great execution. The zone of Iona was spread out. Niagara got it into the high post and was able to get a layup for Egamonye. Purple Eagles in a man-to-man. -man. Clark puts it on the floor, sees Egamonye and takes a tough shot, but Springer got a hand on it, could not stay in bounds. It'll go back to the Purple Eagles. You see how active Springer is on the offensive glass. He's always trying to get that put back, get an easy shot for them. It, Purple Eagles have got to keep him off the board. The two games last year, both double-doubles for Springer. He combined for 39 points and 29 rebounds. Some guys just play well against certain teams. The matchup just works. And in this case, it looks like Springer feels comfortable playing against the Purple Eagles. Tyrone Lewis into the paint, pulls up and puts the Purple Eagles in front for the first time. 7-6 Niagara. It's a fearless drive into the heart of the zone and a little floater right over the center. Lewis coming off that 31-point effort on Saturday. Made five of six from beyond the arc against the Jaspers. Donovan dumps it down low to Clark. Good pass to Springer for the easy layup. Niagara's trying to double team with Benson Egamonye. That leaves Springer a path to the basket. Clark did a very nice job of turning and finding the open man off the double team. Gales back up by a point. Ben from the right elbow knocks it down. Bilal Ben, 14 points, nine rebounds per game. He leaves the conference in rebounding, and then Machado looking long for Springer, throws it away. The Gales turn it over. It seems like the Purple Eagles have found a soft spot in the zone, that high post. The high post is sometimes a difficult shot to hit, but when you have Bilal Ben, who's basically a guard, Steve, in that spot, he can make a play out of there, whether it's a pass or an open jump shot. Here's Ben again in the middle of that zone. 
Goes opposite to Williamson. Demetrius, one of two from the arc, misses that one. Tyrone Lewis runs it down, too strong with his follow. And Devon Clark clears the glass for Iona. The Gales look to run. Deep three for Machado, steps into it, in and out. And an offensive rebound again for Springer. Podanovic trying to make it three. Same result. I think we've seen that before, haven't we? The offensive rebound by Springer. 